Good morning. It's uh, Friday morning here in Kansas City, and I just want to do a quick preview video. Talked briefly about the other day this huge Japanese woodblock collection auction that we're doing. Uh, it's been a crazy week. I had a great auction Monday night, pick up on Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday I spent all day looking at an estate spread from Kansas City to Lexington. A lot of interesting stuff coming up from that. But Monday, let me flip this around, we are selling the rest of this estate collection of Japanese woodblocks. So every one of these folios is full of woodblocks. And if you look at the catalog, which is linked in the title here, you will see that each one of these books is full of woodblocks. And when we originally signed on to sell this estate, we thought we had not unlimited time, but quite a bit more time than they ended up giving us. So we've had four or five, maybe six different auctions with anywhere from 50 to 200 wood blocks. <clears throat> and now we are selling the rest. So if, an, if, an, if a lot says there's 42 wood blocks, there are actually 42 wood blocks in that book, and you're buying all of them. So as I flip through this book here, now some of these are gonna be rough shape, like this one right here, you can see the rough bottom edge is all chewed up, so is the sides and that. But some of these are in beautiful shape. And there's older prints, there's new prints, um, there's, you know, actors, there are just all kinds. Well, that one's interesting. I haven't seen these. You know, and, and you know, I've, I've looked through these a little bit, but I, there will be wood blocks sell that I have never seen. Um, Esther, uh, Amy's daughter, started working for us recently, and she photographed them all. Wait, are there multiples in there? Oh, no, it's just a multiple. Okay. But you can see, well, it's a fireworks. I mean, just all kinds of interesting images. Those are kind of fun, or anim anim almost anime looking. But there are, I think, 37 lots. Amy, do you know how many lots there are in the? In the uh, I believe there are 34. 34. There's 30 plus books. Um, and I believe the actual hard numbers are 1,576 wood blocks. Oh, wow, check this out. This is a lot. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six of them that make up that one image of a procession, a military procession. I'm wondering, it looks like it's missing, maybe missing one on the front end. I don't know if that would be the front of it or not. It looks like there's probably another, at least one more block, but there are six in this procession. Let's see, we're leading a goat or a, a bull and all these military soldiers with a, probably a trailer or a carriage, I mean. Almost has to be a funeral possession, would be my guess, based upon how it's laid out. Um, so you can see there's all kinds of interesting pieces, diptychs and triptychs and all kinds of fun stuff. And different sizes, I mean, you can see the books are different sizes, got small up to these really large, larger folios. And obviously nothing in here can be bigger than this sheet. But we're really excited. Now, some of these, there are going to be some blank pages. Not every page is full. Some of these, we, these were the, this is what the collection was in. Oh, she's cool. So we've been selling out of these books. Oh, he's cool, too. Check that out. That's a Saito, isn't it? So... There is the possibility of some really good returns on this if you're a dealer, if you're a collector. What a fantastic way to give yourself a large collection um, at one time. I mean, really enhance your collection. If you're, you know, if you don't sell necessarily antique Japanese, but you just sell 
Well, that's just a print of some sort. That I don't know why that's even in there, but. So there'll be something, there might be a couple things like that which have nothing to do with anything. They're just in the folio. Um, but, you know, if you sell just uh, framed artwork in your gallery, you know, you, this is a great way to buy inventory. It's just like, it's like these in frames. I'm going to bring $50, $60 to $100 a piece just as decorative objects for the generic ones, a lot of them. So, is that 1973? So, some really interesting. Tomatu Hayashi. Nice print there. Okamoto, 1971. All kinds of goodies. So that's that's what's coming on. I'm going to flip through one more here. I'm not going to go through every book, obviously. There's way too many. But I just want you guys to get an idea of what is coming up or what is in this auction. And uh, think of different things you can do with these. I mean, there's just all kinds of, you know, like I said, if you're a collector, if you're a dealer, there's just all kinds of opportunity here to really do some fun things. I mean, you could buy a book of these, frame them all up similarly, and then make like you know almost like a wallpaper on your wall in your in your house. Um, you could cover walls with a book. So, that's what's going on with that. So, that, anyway, which book is that? Uh, Terry, I think you were asking about this one. Book 13, lot 14. The one that I was going through kind of got delayed into uh, with the... This book here, the one I, I spent the most time in, is book 13. But there's, you know, this is just one of 30 books I grabbed and started going through. You need to look through all the pictures, Terry, and, and uh, thanks for watching, and Tina. Uh, you need to look through all the, take, take, take some time and look through. Every woodblock should be pictured in the description. So if there's 35 woodblocks, there should be 17 to 20 pictures of that. It's just going to show the overview. Like, it's going to show, it's going to be a picture like this. It's going to be... You know, a snap like that that shows both prints on one page. It's not going to be detailed. It's because this is this is a job lot. I mean, it's just plain and simple. We're selling a collection of antique Japanese woodblocks as a job lot, which is kind of breaking my heart, but it's necessary as well. So um, look through all the books. Look through everything that you can find um, and see what's in there and, and give yourself an opportunity to really make you know, make a great investment, make a lot of money. Um, it might take you some time to sell them all, but really cool thing. We got some great stuff coming up. Uh, the building is literally full right now, and we have more coming in next week. So some great things coming up in the near future. Uh, good luck on the auction on Monday night. And if you have any questions or want to consign things with us, give us a call, 816-283-3633. Send us a direct message here, or drop us an email at info at kcauctioncompany.com. Dot com. Terry, Tina, and the rest of you all for watching. Thank you all so much for watching and commenting. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. And thanks for the thumbs up. Love the thumbs up. Give me thumbs up all the time. Have a great weekend. Bye.